quietest atlas ever, the new standard for safety, the most comfortable atlas so far. Rurock has just announced the new features and upgrades to the Atlas 4.0 helmet in the first of many reveals to come. But is this new and controversial addition to the Rurock line going to live up to the claims? We're going to find out. Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Riding with the Pastor Rocket. If you don't already subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button below because there's going to be more awesome content coming. Today we've got two very special guests on the show. All the way from California, we've got Carl. His handle on TikTok is at NDOCDS. And we've also got Luke from Motovlogs Niagara. How's it going, guys? Hey, Pasta. Hello. <laughs> Gesundheit. <laughs> Before we dive into this Atlas 4.0 reveal from Rurok, let's take a look at what we're riding with currently, which is the current flagship helmet from Rurok, which is the Atlas 3.0. I know there's been a lot of criticisms to this helmet on the internet, but first impressions, I haven't had a whole lot of time with it, but I really like this thing. And um, Luke and Carl have also both been riding with the Rurok helmets, so we're gonna see what they think as well. So my primary helmet is the Nebula, and I've been riding with it since early December. Um, one of my favorite features of the helmet is how light it is. Uh, it's the carbon fiber, so it's super light on your head. Um, the strap is super easy to get on and off. Do you have noise problems with your helmet? I'm 75% deaf, so no. <laughs> so um, with, yeah. with this one, this one is significantly louder than my Nebula. A um, couple of things for me is the chin curtain. Uh, the attachment points in the helmet are fairly weak and slip out with ease. Um, and the side vents here provide no actual functional purpose. So the noise level is quite high when you are above 80 kilometers an hour. A um, couple things I do love is the paint layouts that they have. Uh, you can't get them anywhere else. And the general look of the helmet just looks like a fighter pilot, as well as the Fidlock. The Fidlock is honestly unbeatable. No other company is doing it and nobody can beat it. Aside from the issues that you guys mentioned, as you guys know, there's a lot of controversy regarding the Atlas 3.0. So what is the Atlas 4.0 gonna bring? One of the other things that happened with the Atlas 3.0 launch was uh, significant shipping delays with getting the helmet, as well as some things like the um, interior padding and the lining on the helmet uh, not shipping with what Rurog had advertised that it would be. The reason why there was a delay is because during manufacturing of the cheek pads, apparently it didn't meet uh, originally quali original quality standards. Yes. Um, so they actually reverted back uh, and made some changes on the fly, which ultimately led to the delivery delay. So one thing that we do know for sure about the Rurok Atlas 4.0 is that on February 18th of 2022, which is the day that that helmet drops and is available for the public to order, that Rurok is claiming that they are going to ship same day. So that would indicate to me that Rurok already has inventory of these helmets and uh, they're ready to send these things out. So taking a look at the uh, road to launch that Rurok has on their website, uh, today, January 10th, the new features and upgrades as promised have been released by Rurok. So we're gonna dive into that in just a couple seconds here. January 14th, the artwork and paint finish reveals are gonna begin. February 4th, uh, we've got something called Project R, the future of Rider comms. That that sounds like a new um, successor to the Shockwave system, perhaps? So I think the next iteration of the Shockwave is going to include rider-to-rider -rider communication. A big factor for me when I was purchasing my helmet as to why I didn't get the Shockwave system was because they did not provide a peer-to-peer -peer system. Um, personally, I don't use a Cardo or anything like that. Um, I'm waiting for Rurock to come out with product that does peer-to-peer -peer because of the helmet integrations that they do offer. On February 5th, they are gonna have a US demo day, which you can apply to be invited to. And on February 18th, the Atlas 4.0 is gonna be available to order for those of you who do wanna place an order on the brand new helmet. With that said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into it. And we're gonna take a look at everything that Rurok has released for us to see about the Atlas 4.0. At first glance, it looks like Rurok has kept the same exterior design with the helmet, and it seems to have overall the same look. Um, we're seeing most of the vents that are still on here. I'm a little surprised, actually, guys, to see the uh, two 
problematic side vents that are uh, still on the helmet. What do you guys think about that? The the side vents are definitely an interesting uh, an interesting thing that they're keeping on there. I'd like to see more in depth detail on uh, how they're going to be creating more aerodynamics around that. Perhaps they took the feedback that they they received uh, that these side vents were causing a lot of noise, uh, and these inserts that. Uh, are in that same area are going to reduce that. It'll be really interesting to see if Rurok has actually like made some internal changes to those vents. Cause like, I mean, looking at the photo of the 4.0 and looking at my 3.0 that I have here, they look pretty much identical. So I wonder if now all of a sudden they're actual functioning vents or, or if it's uh, decorative once again. And one thing I noticed about the new 4.0 is if you look here on these two vents, these were problematic when it came to the 3.0, 2.0, and 1.0, but on the 4.0, they've decided to remove them completely, and one thing you'll notice on the front here is there's no way to close this vent. But if you look closely on some of these pictures that Rurok has released, there is a little clip here to open and close it. So that is gonna add a lot for the people who had complaints about the noise. My first impressions are is I'm excited that they kept the design elements um, basically what makes a Rurok helmet the Rurok helmet. Uh, it's a staple, it's a call sign, it looks like a fighter pilot, it draws in a lot of attention, and I'm excited to see that they didn't make those, those changes. Let's take a look at the official list of new features for the Atlas 4.0. One of the first things that we see on the list from Rurok is the new standard for safety. Uh, the Atlas 4.0 is ECE 22.06 certified which is the new European standard for uh, for helmet testing and safety. Um, one of the big concerns for the Atlas 3.0 and prior helmets was, um, was the safety of the helmet. So uh, there's some really cool features here that they've added to, to address a lot of that. Along with that ECE 22.06 rating, um, there is one big innovative feature that is a world's first for street helmets it is Rion. Uh, so Rion technology has been integrated into other platforms and, and by other companies such as NASA. Um, there's Rion uh, reinforced football helmets for safety. Um, actually, Rurock, this isn't the first time they've, they've done this with their new snowboarding helmet, the RG1DX. Um, it's integrated into that helmet as well. They, they made a, a magnificent claim that it can help reduce concussion by 30%. Uh, and essentially how this works is it's a polymer uh, that when introduced with force uh, can redistribute the impact. It kind of changes its structure depending on the force that's applied to it. So when you put the helmet on, it'll actually reshape to your head. Um, so it's extremely comfortable, it's soft weight material, until it experiences force. So in a crash, you drop it, you fall off, you break your head, you're gonna be safe. Enter your comfort zone. This one's really exciting for me guys, cause like, one of my complaints personally about the, the 3.0, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I love this helmet, it, it is an awesome helmet, but, um, I was a little disappointed at the cheek pads on this helmet. So if you cut one of these pads in half with a pair of scissors, what you're gonna see inside this fabric is one chunk of foam. Whereas on a lot of other helmets, um, there's gonna be layers of different densities of, of padding. You know, once they build that up, it's a uh, thicker, firmer, um, more dense foam inside that doesn't wear out or pack in or deflate as easily so something that's really noteworthy on the atlas 4.0 is they they once again have redesigned all the cheek pads in the helmet and hopefully this time around um when the atlas 4.0 ships on february 18th um we're gonna see you know that that this is the indeed the foam or indeed the cheek pads that are gonna arrive with the product and that there's not going to be a change somewhere in there i think a lot of the the motorcycle community has shared that thought with you and I think uh, everyone will be excited to see that they actually made this change. If I had to speculate, I would speculate that this is probably what they wanted to do with the 3.0, but whatever happened during manufacturing prevented that. Um, so I'm excited to see how it goes over. I'm excited to, to get my hands on the helmet and actually see what it feels like uh, and if it makes a big difference because I, I, I do agree with you, Pasta. I think that is one area that it is lacking uh, and that's something consistent amongst every amongst everyone that has it, right? Um, that's, that's pretty common feedback. 
I wonder if the 4.0 padding will fit in a 3.0 helmet. Oh, that I'm, is a genuine question. That, that is I am a question. Curious. That is a question <laughs> if I've ever heard it. I am genuinely curious about that. One of the other new features of the Atlas 4.0 is the reduced turbulence and riding stability. Uh, and I think that comes in with the full control of the vents. As you guys know, in the 3.0, if you wanted to close some of the vents, you had to buy an additional product, which people did not love. It is interesting to see that they've kind of streamlined the, the shell of the helmet and made it less turbulent, um, which I'm sure is going to help a lot with noise too. But looking at the photos of the 4.0 and looking at the 3.0 here that I've got with me, it doesn't look like the shape of the shell has changed at all. It simply looks like they've just removed the two vents like Luke was mentioning earlier. Um, and we still have these ones on the side, but other than that, I think, I mean, the helmet looks pretty much identical um, shape-wise, so I don't think the aerodynamics of it have changed too much aside from taking these vents out. But I mean, I'm no engineer. I, I reckon that these might have a bigger effect than I think. Which is what I think makes this an interesting claim. I mean, they didn't redesign the shell of the helmet from what it appears, but yet they're claiming that there's less turbulence. And I'm curious to see if just vent control achieve that or if there are other subtle redesigns that we just haven't seen yet. So another noteworthy feature that Rurock is putting on their new 4.0 is the ability to control the average steady state head temperature by 15% with a maximum of 30%. So it's going to basically allow the rider to control their temperature in cold or hot climates, which you can't do on the 3.0 right now unless you have some vent plugs in your pocket ready to go when it's cold. So I see that they've put on, um, it says here that they've included a top vent switch for the 4.0, um, but they, they do also claim it says, take full control of your helmet environment with the open close vents throughout. So I wonder if there's uh, some more to this than meets the eye. I wonder if there's some, some mechanism other controls inside see. the helmet or some mechanisms that we, we can't see off these photos. The last feature to be announced today for the Atlas 4.0 is the reduction in noise on this new helmet. Now this one's super important for me because I love quiet helmets. Um, I know a lot of you out there have found the Atlas uh, 1, 2, and 3.0 to be a fairly loud helmet. So um, hopefully with some of the changes in aerodynamics uh, and with some of the other noise isolating and acoustic lining that they've put into this helmet, especially um, right in this area where your ears would sit, um, which is also really close to this vent that causes some turbulence. Um, it, it looks like they've added some some acoustic padding and uh, lining in there to, to quiet the helmet down. Um, one interesting thing that I want to bring up, which kind of circles back to the ECE 22.06 rating, is that I think for the first time ever, the ECE certification now includes noise level as part of the safety rating. So the fact that Rurock is claiming that they've reduced the noise of this helmet and that they've exceeded all of the ECE 22.06 safety standards by at least 20% makes me believe that this is actually has the potential to be a really quiet helmet. I think that's one of the most significant features of this helmet is the reduction of noise. Uh, almost everybody complains about it. I hadn't experienced it with, with one of my helmets, but I experienced it with the other. Uh, and I, I'm really hoping that this issue is finally solved with some of the feature updates that they're, they've announced. And with that being said, guys, that's the last piece of information that we have about the Atlas 4.0 so far. It looks like they've made a lot of big claims, but it does appear that Rurok has really, really taken a lot of the feedback about the previous helmets to heart, and they've made some um, really significant changes that we've all been looking forward to and that we kind of expected with the Atlas 3.0. I'm really excited about this launch. I'm really excited about the changes Rurok made, uh, and I look forward to actually testing the helmet. I am excited for the new helmet. I'm excited to see what Rurok's gonna be doing. I'm an avid supporter of the company, and I always will support them with their new endeavors. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>